If I lose in 2023, I, other PDP party leaders will retire, Artiku Abubaka. He boasted that the administration of President Olushe Guabrasenjo, where he served as a vice president, still remained best since 1999. The former vice president, Artiku Abubaka, has warned members of the board of trustees of the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, that the party might not survive another eight years as an opposition party. Atiku, who spoke when he hosted the board members during a consultative meeting in Abuja on Tuesday, asked the elders of the party to work with him to clinch the presidency in 2023, or we all retire together. <laughs> is this not what they call desperation? That is, if I don't get it, no one will get No one will have it. You see, our politicians, they are desperate. They are just too desperate to get what they want to get. This is what they call selfish interest. Because as soon as the reason why one wants to kill himself or herself because of position, if you don't have any selfish interest, you know, uh, concerning that. This is really too bad. And I believe this is the right time Nigerians have to open their eyes so that we will not make the mistake we had made before. Enough of this. If I am not mistaken, Atiku should be at his uh, late 70s. The other one, the in the opposition party APC, Bola Tinubu, according to him, he should <laughs> in his seventies and all that. So is this what we want? So does it mean that we don't have, you know, legible people in Nigeria to 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 carry the affairs of this country? Does it mean that apart from these people, there are no other persons in Nigeria that can you know rule Nigeria? Are we going to continue to uh, recycle uh, leaders? These are people who are running from pillar to post, from this party to the other party. When they see that the light is coming down in this party, they will run to the other party. We are being ruled by the same set of people. We just have to stop this. Nigeria is not their own. You understand? Why this desperation? If you don't become president, that means every other person in PDP will have to retire. So you just want to crush the party. That is what it meant. Honestly, this is just the height of it all. The desperate is just too much. The uh, Bola Tinubu have said that he's going to play that game. So it's by fire, by fire, by force. You have to get the presidency. You see them. If not, if not, not shine on her eye this time around, all of us go still they suffer with you. They suffer. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the news. But before then, I will encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are here for the first time. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. The former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has warned members of the Board of Trustees of the Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, that the party might not survive another eight years as an opposition party. Atiku, who spoke when he hosted board members during a consultative meeting in Abuja on Tuesday, asked the elders of the party to work with him to clinch the presidency in 2023 or we all retire together. He boasted that the administration of President Olushe Gu Obrasenjo, where he served as the vice president, still remained the best since 1999. The presidential hopeful said, I am worried, and you should be worried too, that if we don't win, it means we will be in opposition again for the next eight years. By the next eight years, I don't know how many of us will be left in politics, and it may even ultimately lead to the vet of party because people gravitate, particularly in developing countries, towards government. So this is a very 
crucial and historical moment in history for our survivor. Speaking on the issue of zoning, Article asks members of the PDP not to be considering zoning because the APC has done the same. We invented and formulated the zoning policy simply because we wanted every part of this country to have a sense of belonging and I personally have paid my dues on the issue of zoning. Therefore, you cannot come and try to imply that the PDP has not been following the zoning policy. The many years of PDP government, the eight years and six years all of them were from the south, so we should not be stamped by the opposition party. They have a moral oblig obligation. The presidential hopeful said his vision was to build bridges across the country and called on the ports members to join him in building bridges so that every part of this country will have a sense of belonging, article I've said. Comrades and insult yourself and last time. Why would rotationally hold your responsible for your greed? People saw when you were good to go for that position and gave that man their mandate to you in totality, yet you mistakenly you mistake you mistaken that as cowards and senseless. The truth is that we are tired of both APC and PDP. How I wish they all retire after 2023. We do respect article. Please go and rest. You will never become the president of Nigeria. There is nothing like that in the realm. Unless God changes his mind, but as it is, as of today, you were not seen with such crime. Though your party will run interim president, but not you. You have lose many elections. Please just retire. <laughs> Haga yourself, Tunubu, Kulog, Jonathan, including Osiba George, should retire now. Nigerians need young generation. All the old cargoes in the House of Assembly should as well retire. We don't need you to run in 2023. Just take the back seats and push forth someone that can correct this mess we are currently facing in Nigeria. Baba Atiku, drop your presidential ambition and go take care of your family and businesses. Forget about threats. We need young, able men this time in Nigerian poli political city. Okay, guys? These are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take on signing words? Uh, the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, have just said. Kindly share your opinion with us below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.